Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 2. Last time we started our playthrough in the Lands Between. Got very lost and overwhelmed, but managed to get back on track, overcoming the Tree Sentinel and meeting our lovely friend, our merchant, Kale, aka Santa Claus. And that's where we left everything. And now we're going to pick up exactly where we left off uh, as we proceed to follow our light, follow our grace, directing us off into the distance as it's currently, it's currently night. Some time has passed as I've been resting at our lost light, our, uh, our little point of lost grace. And I'm ready to continue the playthrough. So we'll pick up some crafting materials and we'll, we'll go on an adventure. We'll uh, say hi to the roly-poly goats. Ooh, hello. We could go hunting with our arrow. <laughs> Have our bow out. Shall we go hunting? Looks like you... Ah, uh, that's the wrong... I don't want to use a fire arrow. I remember I need to press... Ooh, hang on. Need to press RB. There we go. Gold tinged excrement. Yes, gold poop. Love it. Uh, it's my hunting simulator. We're playing. We're playing hunting ring instead. We can do some stealth with the bow. We got some root resin. Oh, I can get this guy from behind with my sword. Yep, do that instead. Let's see how much damage we can do on an unsuspecting, unsuspecting soldier. Seventy-nine. Not bad. Golden rune. Hello. <laughs> it's like, ah! Hefty. Hefty beast bone. Nice. All right. So we got some new crafting materials around this area, which is cool. I believe our our main objective is uh, to be heading towards um, Stormvale Castle. But as usual, we're probably going to get very lost. A ruin fragment. Oh, there's a few ruin fragments up here. Bunch of ruin fragments. <laughs> Didn't jump far enough. Nice. Need to get some hefty beef bones. Hefty beef bones, that's for sure. I'm gonna try and figure out how we can do like a mixture, you know? of like making sure that we're making significant progress, but also running around and getting lost like a fool. Oh wow, look down here. I better not be a poison swamp. I swear to God. I can see why we're gonna eventually get a horse. <laughs> because this land is gonna be quite, quite large, very substantial. Um, I'm gonna need to remember how to press buttons so I can go into equipment and oh actually in my pouch if I switch my telescope in my pouch yeah perfect there we go wonderful we get a little bit of a little bit of a zoom with our telescope. Uh, there's some grace over there. And we've got a camp. With more bat 
with more bat creatures. What is this? Teardrop Scarabs. There are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrop Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Oh. I was wondering if they were going to be like the... Um, our little like treasure goblins of this game. Turns out they're flask restorations. And they sound quite obvious. Ooh. God, flying enemies are very interesting. I should just shoot them with arrows, really, shouldn't I? Oh, yep. Nice. Shooting them with arrows is a good idea. Oops. And wasting your arrows is a bad idea. Let's go get this point of grace. Oh, look at the moon in the sky. Yeah, the first episode was uh, quite overwhelming. <laughs> Second episode, we're just going to continue our chill exploration of the world. Um, the Gatefront Ruins. We're at Agil Lake North. God, this this is just a massive area. Having to like piece together this whole world. And you're going to come th come with me on this journey through every minute of it, of my discovery. Ooh, two health bars. Oh, come on, mate. I defeated the tree sentinel. You are just a tiny tree sentinel. What do you think you are? Oh god, we got bats coming in too. Ooh. Oop. Oh. Oop. 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 Alright, that was my mistake. <laughs> Probably should have just gone for, uh, probably should have just gone for him, but the bats were confusing me. You died. How often are we going to uh, see that this game? Probably a lot. We'll probably see that one a lot, I expect. And now it's daytime. Alright, I want to wield this two-handed. I don't know if you can get a stealth kill on a horse. God. I love how quick how I love how quickly he responds to getting attacked, like almost immediately. Alright, come here. I need a horse of my own. There you go. Get booted. There you go. Nothing without your horse. Your horse. We got rower. We got a rower raisin. Nice. For our own horse when we get one. And I guess we'll just slowly reveal the world as we traverse it on this map. A huge tower over in the distance. It is so hard when you just want to explore every inch of this world. Oops. Massive towers. Honestly, I just love taking in the, the environment and the music as well. It's such a serene... Beautiful open world theme. To, to take in as well. Let's go raid some camps. Alright, we've got another one of those scarabs. Oh, hello. 
Oh god, look at their faces. Lord Swan's straight sword. New weapon. Adding skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Adding affinities with a whetstone knife. You can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. This way you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what affinities it can have. Some special armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted new affinities. So we've got an Ash of War, Determination. Um, is its own thing for that, I believe. This Ash of War grants an armament the quality affinity and the following skill, Determination, a knightly skill. Hold the flat of the armament to your face and pledge your resolve, powering up your next attack. Oh god. Hello. <laughs> I was reading. Another thing that I have to do is I need to read up on those notebooks that I purchased from the, uh, from the merchant. Dude, charging up the, an attack like that, you got a beast liver, charging up an attack like that when you get uh, attacked. I love the unsheath ability, skill I should say, it's so cool. Uh, we have these. Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through Limgrave. A flask of wondrous physics still remains in the Third Church of America, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the Animal Trail north. Animal Trail north. Are we crossing the bridge from this way? Or the other way? And is this even the right bridge? I've just opened it on a bridge, that's all. We can also go and explore all the way down there. The sheer size of this is staggering. And it's like, you lose track of time in a place like this, in the lands between. That's for sure. <laughs> it definitely seems easy to lose track of time in a place like this. So I feel like you'll probably be hanging out with me while this is on in the background for you a lot of times, as it's just me exploring and learning the world while it's all brand new and exciting. Hello. Dude, look at that does so much damage to the horse, and it also stuns the horse, which is great. How about that? Sweet raisin. I really would like to get a horse. Maybe if I stayed on the main path, I would get a horse, and then this would probably go a lot faster. What do you say? Let's do. Let's do that. Let's. Let me, let me go back to this North Lake, and we'll check out these ruins, and we'll run through to Stormvale Castle, because I should focus up. Look at these castle gates. Because then maybe we can look at getting ourselves a horse if we stay on the main path. And then that'll make exploration just much nicer for us. Ooh, nice. Chest. We got a flail. Can't wield it. Need more dexterity. Weapon consisting of a bludgeoning head attached to a handle by a chain. The iron bowl is spiked and induces blood loss. Blows from this weapon cannot be parried. The charge attack whirls the iron bowl around for increased force before striking. A spinning chain attack. Spins the striking part of a flail at high speed, followed with up, uh, a normal strong attack to link the momentum of this skill into a successive attack. Lord Swan's straight sword looks cool. Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it appears to have otherwise been kept in a serviceable condition, despite the soldiers having long, long since lost their minds. Square off skill. This skill starts with the sword held level, follow up with a normal attack to slash upwards through an enemy's guard, or a strong attack to perform a running thrust. 
Interesting. And then we also have the ability to have a torch when we're uh, navigating the darkness. Attacked a bit too early there. I was meant to try and get a backstab out of that. Didn't work. This guy's got a big horn. Oh god. Look at this guy. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Sure. Oh god. Ugh. This guy. Don't fuck with this guy. Oh, he's, there's a wolf. Damn, does not get staggered easy either. Damn! <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, I meant to do a strong attack. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> I meant to jump. Ooh, Godric Knight Helm. Look at that. We got a cool helmet. Alright, let's take a look at this helmet real quick before we get killed. Ooh, it weighs more, but it gives us a bunch of cool stuff. Helm worn by knights loyal to Godric the Grafted. Uh, which we do have in... I've listed, yes, Godric the Grafted. Adorned with a plume of withered ashen hair. Our equip load is a medium load right now. We also get more poise. <laughs> it looks so silly. Fashion souls. Right now, we must wear the full samurai set. Oh, we can go down. It goes down. It do go down. Now I'm now I'm terrified to go down places because I'm scared it'll it'll end up being a fucking teleporting chest, and I'll get sent to the other end of the map. I'll get just sent to the end of the game, and everything will be over. <laughs> We'll wait and see, huh? I don't have any healing right now. What is this? Oh, a map for Limgrave West. Map found. A new map has been found. Whoa! Holy shit. Okay. This is Limgrave West. What is that? Oh, that's beautiful. Barrel. Damn. Huh. Okay. Oh, hang on. There was a skull over here somewhere that was lit up, but I was too busy getting attacked to uh, do anything about it. There it is. Hiya! Open up. Thank you. I open it by jumping on it. It's Definitely not the best way to do it, but it'll it'll do. Oh, hang on! I see some light. There's a th thing of grace. I'll rest up at that before we will then um, go downstairs. Get stabbed. What you got for me? Lord Swan's Greatsword. Nice. 136. It does a stamp, an upward cut. Not recommended to wield it because you need 16 strength. 
well-crafted straight sword with an illustrious design. Though blackened and damaged by years of use, it's been kept in a serviceable condition. It looks great. It's a cool, cool-looking swords for just like some some basic swords, apparently. Touch Grace. Lost Grace discovered. Rest at sight of Grace. Oh. Oh, hello. There she is. There she is. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina. I offer you an accord. It's a very interesting tattoo on the eye. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Nice. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Oh my god, I'm getting married. Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Cool, now we can level up. Turn your runes to strength. We can Let level up now. Rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. With the level up menu, For you can spend runes to increase your, your attributes. The principles you would follow. Um, our sword has the same dex and strength scaling. Uh, I'm gonna get my give myself some more health. This is FP. This is stamina and equip load. Um, there you go. I'm gonna do those three. Nice. I've leveled up for the first time. Wonderful. Off she goes! Horseback riding! Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one Flask of Crimson Tears to do so. Dismount by using the Whistle again or by pressing L. Uh, so... yes, I was just going to put this on the pouch. Uh, from pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. Um, spectral Steed Whistle. A dedicated goldwork ring can be used as a finger whistle. Summon, sound the whistle to summon and ride Torrent, the Spectral Steed. Upon his death, the Spectral Steed can be summoned again. That costs Crimson Tears. Nice. So... Horse! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, and then L is the dismount, right? Gotcha. Oh shit. What is combat like on a horse? Oh, it's like that. It's a bit like that. Nope, it's a bit like that. Okay. 
You want to do like running strikes, I guess, if you want to be like the tree sentinel. Much more efficient that way. Da -da 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 oh god! Can I use my bow from this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. Cool. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, so the, the triggers and the bumpers on each side are which side you want to attack from. Oh, you have like a dragging one if you hold it down as well. That's cool. Okay. Oh, no better time like the present to learn horseback combat. Ouch. Oh god. Whoa! I can jump on nothing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, my stance is busted. And I'm dead. <laughs> Learning how to horse ride. Okay, guys, settle down. I'm already dead. You don't have to fuck me up that hard. Damn. Uh, where is... Where's the stake? Where's the stake at? How far away is the stake from where we just were? Basically right in front of it. The stake and the grace are so close together anyway. A chamber lies under the ruins. Yes, that's actually where I'm headed. I'm assuming we can use a bow on horseback. You just have to equip it as your like main weapon, I suppose. Oh, it's such an interesting trumpet sound. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, God. I fucked up. So many, so many shield enemies. Not ever being able to lock onto the right one. Okay, this kind of sucks. This sucks, guys. See you later. I don't want to party with you guys anymore. You guys are boring. I've got a chamber downstairs to explore. All you guys, leave me alone now, please. I'm going downstairs. There is a chamber. And I want to check it out. Oh no. Please don't be a teleporting chest. <laughs> Thank you. Ash of War. Storm. Stomp. And a whetstone knife. Nice. Let's have a look at this stuff that we just got. I kind of wish that when you open inventory there was like a, like a new section. Anytime you pick up something new you can just look at that straight away instead of having to go to where it belongs. It is what it is though. Whetstone knife can add new battle arts and affinities to weapons. Whetstone with a cipher inscription made to look like a small knife blade allows the use of ashes of war on a side of grace to bestow new battle arts and affinities to armaments as skills. The battle arts and affinities will depend on the ashes of war used. Storm Stomp. One of the skills that channel the tempests of Stormvale stomp hard on the ground and kick up a momentary storm usable on all melee armaments. That's cool. You guys were keeping that secret from me, huh? Alright, I have a horse now. I can do what I I can do what I want. I have free reign of the worlds. And I can also jump on nothing. That's cool. Alright, exploration just got very cool. Can I still pick up Yes, you can still pick up items on the run. 
Um, so you can see like a little bit of pop in on all of our uh, in the distance. Horse riding tutorial. Oh god. How to get better at horse riding. You don't. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be an this is gonna be an interesting one to to master, isn't it? And to get a to get a hold of. Alright. So, okay, okay, so we can see the barriers. So this is West Limgrave. Now it's recommended for us to go that way. What is this? I want to see what this thing is. Something on the road? Is it this thing? This thing. What is this? Use bird's eye telescope. Bird's eye telescopes are found in various areas to get a bird's eye view of the terrain in the direction the telescope is facing. Oh wow. Oh that's awesome. I love how it's like in the direction it's facing, but you can do a full 360 anyway. Look at that. Look at this world. Look at this land between. Where are we even, where are we even going? I know that we're just gonna get lost. <laughs> Let's just try and explore the map, I suppose. I'm just going to go on a journey. Let's go for a ride. Let's see what we can find out here. Something I really appreciate. Uh, that's like nice at kind of like breaking the open world. Oh shit. It's kind of nice at breaking the open world formula is like There's not just like markers everywhere and objectives and do this do that and go here and 5,000 optional objectives It's like here is like it's it's quite it's, it's open in the sense that it's just like just pick your path and go and explore and see what you See what you can get see what you can find in your journey, you know? The first playthrough is always a very interesting one, because I want to be methodical and take my time. And then I know that subsequent playthroughs is going to be discovering... ...the secrets in this open world as well. There is a lot of enemies here. Like, a lot. Go for the shielded ones first. Oh shit, I should have gone for the trumpets first. I didn't know that there were trumpet ones. These guys aren't doing much at least. I'm just kind of hanging out. For the one that's like a sorcerer. So is this a chest on the back here? I like sneak on and get it from these guys? No? Okay. Oh shit. Oh, 
Oh shit, I died. Fuck, I was not even paying attention to my health. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Not paying attention. Now I have to go back and get my stuff. Look at these big guys, man. Look at these big dudes. Hey, this is a steak. This is a steak. Why didn't I... Why wasn't I allowed to go to that stake last time? I guess I didn't run past it enough. I wasn't able to open that chest, so I don't know if I'm actually able to or not. Maybe if you defeat all the enemies, you can. Waypoint Ruins. Oh, hang on. That's related to one of these, right? Waypoint Ruins. Someone lurks among the Waypoint Ruins on the roads through Limgrave. Alright, someone's here. Hello? I'm at the Waypoint Ruins. There's a note that says someone is here. Oh shit, what the fuck? The flowers are alive. Glowstone. Also, yeah, just the idea of like these, like these giant ruins that are just crushed, and it's like, what used to be there? How did it used to look? You know what I mean? Like, so crazy. Someone's in here somewhere. Uh, hi. Giant flower. Hi. Oh! Poison. Oh, God. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm... Yeah. Uh, don't poison me. Just stay in the corner. Yeah. Okay, it's still going. Just wait, I guess. Stand here. I mean, it's still going. It's just, you know what? I have a bow. I do have a bow. Fire arrows, because it's a plant. Yes! Light it on fire! It's not doing more damage to it. What is that light attack, though? Holy shit. Oh god. I was not knowing, I don't know when it's going to do that attack. <laughs> Can you break its stance, I wonder? Ooh. Oh, there you go. Hang on. It's dead anyway. Nice. Is there someone at the Waypoint Ruins or something? That note has led me into a poison flower. There's dead, there's dead bodies on the ground, so they just, they fell for it. Immunizing cured meat. Poison bloom. Miranda powder. And a golden rune. Okay, so we got some item crafting stuff. Nope. What did we get? Immunizing cured meat temporarily boosts immunity. Higher immunity helps to mitigate the buildup of various poisons and scarlet rot. Nice. Okay, that's good. The glowstone is a polished ruin fragment that shines brighter than rainbow stone. Emits light from the location it is placed, illuminating surroundings. The effect is short-lived and lacks the diverse colors of rainbow stones. Um, we have gotten... Oh yeah, I got gold-tinged excrement. I got poop. Someone's excrement. It has a golden tinge. <laughs> Gold-tinged excrement is a highly stable substance. It doesn't dry out, nor does it lose its customary warmth or scent. It's poop. What do you expect? Throughout history, perfumers have prized this extremely fragrant form of Miranda pollen, not yet scattered into the air. Uh, root resin. Roots of the great tree were once linked to those of the Erd tree, or so they say, and it is for this reason catacombs are built around great tree roots. Wow. Poison Bloom is dripping with a deep green poisonous liquid. 
so many items to pick up. It's crazy. Alright. Let's keep looking around the waypoint ruins. That's There's a stake. No, sorry. A summoning pool. Which is now functional. Oh, there we go. Alright, so if we find ruins like this... Oh, hang on a minute. So if we find ruins like this, there's always going to be like an underground thing. Traverse the mist. Oh god. What is that? Mad pumpkin head! Oh god. Oh! Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Shit! Oh my god. Oh. Ah! Mad pumpkin head indeed. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Mad pumpkin head. Enemy felled. Exploded into dust. What the hell? Mad pumpkin head. I guess that was who we were uh who we were waiting on in the notes for the waypoint ruins. And we have Grace. Pumpkin boy. Well, that was fun. So, that's one of those notes down. And now there's still a flask of wondrous physic. Remains in the third church of Marica, north of the Mistwood. Oh! Oh, wow. Tarnished, are we? No wonder you should turn up here. I am Selen, a sorcerer, quite plainly. Selen. Why are you here? Selen! A sorcerer. Just writing down our notes. Uh, do I want to learn sorcery? I mean, she's probably gonna... I'm, I'm convinced there's gonna be a Dark Souls 3 moment. They'll go, your intelligence is not high enough. You cannot learn. Ah. A yen for glimstone sorceries. I dare say your proclivities are far from ideal. Oh well, perhaps nurture will defy nature. With a bit of luck. Oh well. Wow. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a reviled, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Rea Lucaria. Ah, choose your masters wisely. So they're like, oh, do you want to learn from me? I was exiled. Still want to learn or let me reconsider. Let's... This is the first playthrough. Let's make some mistakes. Let's just go for it. I still want to learn. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glinstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle. Or cast kind words. Never. <laughs> Anticipate grievances, young apprentice. Okay. Sorceress Selen. She's, she's a rough teacher. I love it. Study sorcery. Oh, there you go. I don't know if I'm going to actually engage with sorcery. My intelligence is only a 9. It's not really my class to do so. So we're probably not going to get into sorcery, at least on a first playthrough. But who knows? We might we might change something. But I'm not going to start putting points into intelligence all of a sudden. You know what I mean? The most basic glinstone sorcery of the Academy of Raya Lucaria. The glinstone serves as a conduit, launching magical projectiles at foes. This is a universal first step on the journey to the true knowledge of sorcery. Glinstone stars. A sorcery of the Alivinus... Alivinus Conspectus, which attracts sorcerers from Celia. Town of sorcery. Oh, wait a minute. That's where I was at. <laughs> I was there! Last time, I got transported there. I know that place. 
granted to sorcerers who depart from the academy to embark on journeys in order to fend off large groups of would-be adversaries. Fools often roam in packs. Oh nice, an arc of glenstone. Crystal Barrage. A sorcery of the Crystal Cadre. A group of sorcerers who pursue the wisdom of stone. The secrets locked in the faint um, cogitation of the Crystallians. Scholar's Armament. Nice magic sword. Taught to the Knights of the Cuckoo by the Academy as payment for their contract. And then the Scholar's Shield. Also taught to the Knights of Cuckoo. That's cool. Nod in thought. Ah, yep. Nice. A nod in thought expression. Okay. Wow. How cool. Alright, well this... So that's what the note was pertaining to. Uh, she was being guarded slash protected slash imprisoned by this pumpkin beast thing this pumpkin guy she was in exile maybe that was to prevent her from leaving exile but there you go there's the waypoint ruins as you can see there that that's been that's been handled that's been dealt with that's cool um, where else can I go? Anywhere I want, apparently. Do you reckon I could jump all the way down there on a horse, or does fall damage exist? <laughs> it's probably not a, not recommended. I mean, we can go down there. I think it might be a good idea for us to head back in this direction for now. We've done... We could explore the Dragonburnt Ruins properly, without getting teleported into a... into some goddamn cursed crystal mines. That might be a good idea. I think I'd like to do that. Please don't be poison. Please don't be poison. Oh god, you're really coming after me, aren't you? Whoa, holy shit. Look at the glowing eyes. Okay. I can do that too, you know. Nice. Getting better at doing... Um, ooh, Caden Gauntlets. Getting better at doing horse fighting. Um, let's have a look. Caden Gauntlets. Gauntlets worn by Caden Sellswords. These hulking, fearless mercenaries said to hail from the mountaintops of the wintry north are adept at fighting on horseback. Caden is the name of their home settlement. Turtle. Ooh! Turtle neck meat and strip of white flesh. Oh no. This is a certified Dark Souls 3 moment. You see those crab? See crab? I see crab. I don't like crab. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. And they just come out of the ground. Oh. oh, I'm doing the wrong... I'm attacking on the wrong side. Okay. Trivialize the crab. Fear no crab when I'm on horseback. Perfect. Crab eggs. Crab eggs. Where are the crab eggs? Yeah. Nutritious food stuff that warms from within. The flavor is exquisite. Only those of comfort and means know the truth. The crab's eggs are more delectable than its meat. Get over here. Oh, don't run me in circles, please. Thank you. <laughs> Can dragonfly. What is this? Oh, it's like a small one of those things. It's a small version of the, the things that we were defeating in... Um, in the land of hell, over here. In 
Celia is what I kind of want to pronounce it as. Celia? But it might be just Celia. Okay, crabs. Waterfront ruins. Oh, you guys are all protecting a thing. You guys are protecting something. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Fucking, so it's not, this is, we're not in a poison swamp, but we've got fucking poison things. And the gas is just there for ages. Why must you all be this way? Why must this be this way? Why poison? Can we have a FromSoft game that doesn't have poison in it? Whoa! Oh, it was glowing. An Arteria leaf. A faint pulse can be felt in the veins, stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. Dark red leaves with thick, swollen veins. Interesting. Ooh, what's going on over here? Dude, these areas are so massive. I'm going to miss so much stuff in this game and get so lost. Okay. Hi. Alright, dragon. Oh shit, flying dragon ag, ag heal, it's a boss. Okay. Horse time. <laughs> oh. It, the lock-on switch to the fucking dragonfly, I got so confused for a second, I was like, how the fuck is the dragon going so fast? So I can't use a bow on horseback. Maybe I maybe I can't use a long bow on horseback, but I can use like a short one. Oh, dude. Oh! Gotta watch out for that. Gotta watch out for that uh, tail swipe. <laughs> that tail swipe is like a one-hit kill. I thought I was like, oh, cool, this is great. I was just about to compliment how cool horse riding is. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, hi, dragon. All right, I want to try something. Actually, no. I'm pretty. I'm pretty convinced that it won't work. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Nice. Okay, we can use a bow. Perfect. It just needs to be. I'm like. I'm pretty confident it won't work. Uh, never mind. Okay, we can actually use the. Nice. We can. You can use arrows if you want. You just have to hold it down a bit. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get my runes first. That would have probably been a that probably would have been a better idea to get my runes first. Okay, so. Um, I was gonna say, maybe if I just hug it close, it won't do that sweep attack with the tail, but it kind of did it anyway, didn't it? Alright, well now I don't have to worry about runes. I do have to worry about running out of arrows, however. <laughs> hey, dragon. Attack the wing! Oh god, don't attack the wing! Miss all of your shots instead! That's a... Ah! Ah! That's a great idea! Oh shit. Oh, uh, where's Dragon? Where's Dragon? Holy shit, man. 
flying log. Fuck's sake. That was annoying. Oh, I'm still alive. Not for long. Oh, right. To revive, it needs Crimson Tears. Never mind then. Oh, no. hide behind this away from the fire oh kind of yeah okay you can hide you can hide behind the environment oh shit oh god yep shock waves that'll do it to you hey get here Give me your head. Oh shit! <laughs> that's a that's a foot. All right. I think the best way to deal with the dragon is to smack him in the head. So we'll just like just run past him on horseback. Just smack him in the head. Smack him in the head. Smack him in the head. That seems like that could be a good idea. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting to do and that I've been forgetting to do this whole time, is we have the ability to get an extra flask heal. But we're not out of sight of grace right now, so that'll still have to wait until next time, because I'm going to forget again. Oh god. Wow. Flying dragon, a heal. Dragon fight. It's just so interesting, because I get to do a dragon fight on, like, horseback instead. You know? I kinda like it. It's it's fun on horseback. Oh shit. Never mind, it's no longer on horseback. Uh, what are you doing up there, sir? No! Don't do it! Please! Don't do fire! Oh! I thought you were gonna do fire. That's fine. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see! I'm dead! Bat enemy! Okay. This is possible. It just... Just don't die. As usual, just don't, just don't die. All right. If I, I just got to keep my horse alive, and I can at least resurrect him as long as I keep a crimson flask in. All right, we've been pushed back here anyway. <laughs> we've been pushed back here. Um, ah, oh, she just appears now at every single site like that. That's neat. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. I'll go too. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. The round table hold, which is what um, Vare was talking about, but because we are maidenless, we don't have an invitation to it. But now we can. Ooh, 
The Round Table Hold is a place where tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non-aggression. This rule is in effect when the round table icon is displayed. The round table hold is located outside of this world. It can only be reached through sites of grace. And also be accessed by using the map to travel. Oh wow, there's people in here. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. Wow. There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. Who are you, though? What's your what is your name? Oh my God! Look at these look at these characters. Look look at look what they got going for them. Whoa! Look at that armor. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. Dialos. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Okay, I'll write that down too. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. <laughs> okay. I don't believe we've met. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. D. Okay, look at the look at this in the middle. Like look at the swords, man. Look at the history here. Yeah. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Wow. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the golden order so that one day, if a tarnished of the round table hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. I see it. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Study incantations from Brother Corrin. Urgent heal. So this is our, these are our, like, so incantations they're called, not miracles, I guess. Incantation of the two fingers, faithful. The two fingers has high hopes for the tarnish that even if they should be wounded, even should they fall, they will continue to fight for their duty. Follow the path that has been set for you, and you will make enemies of all others, the monks, the sorcerers, the ancient dragon knights, and the scions of gold. Heed me. The lands between offers no welcome to the tarnished. Hark, tarnished. If you truly walk in faith, you must be prepared to reject all else. The flame of ruin is anathema to the Erd tree, but 
uh, prophets sometimes glimpse it within the faith all the same. Sadly, when this occurs, their sole reward is banishment. Wow. A sinister, sinister prophecy. May the golden order shine through you. The golden order. But then we're breaking, the, something's breaking the rules of the golden order, um, Melena said. We've got a bunch of different rooms as well. Let me have a look through the open doors before we proceed through a closed one. <gasps> this is our blacksmith, Andre. You're a new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Let's get smithing. Smithing Master Hugh. Strength and armament. Ashes of war. Ash of war duplication. Sell about the chains on your legs. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So he looks like the he looks like the a much larger version of like those dudes that we went off, off against in that like crystal cave. You're a prisoner. No, don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides. I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. The sheer terror of her. Um, we don't have the smithing stones required for strengthening. Uh, Ashes of War menu. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. But you can add an affinity. You can alter an armament's attack, affinity boost, scaling, and more. So we looked at that before. So if I pick this, you can change to... It currently doesn't have one. Like, it has the unsheaths... Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Hang on. Um, its natural skill is the sheath one, so then that square will then get filled with either determination or sword stump, but it will lose, it will lose unsheath, and I kind of like unsheath, so I think we'll leave that. This is square off, stamp the upward cut, spinning chain, I think we'll leave it for now, because I'm not really sure on the whole thing, and you can... With a Lost Ashes of War, you can duplicate one. Okay. Okay, so Hugh is our blacksmith in the round table hold, and we can travel there whenever. The artwork of the Erd Tree and someone. Wow, hello, round table hold. Fog wall. I wonder if we'll get new people in here over time then, in like filling up the empty space or something. Oh, it's another one of these statues. There's a... Oh, and there's another statue in there too, and a chest. Damn. Maybe I should have got those keys and used them in here. The gift of foresight. Would have been a nice gift to have, too, because then I would have been able to do that. <laughs> wow. Dude, the artwork is insane. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. 
Oh. She was in the opening cutscene. Would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Um, she was in the opening cutscene. Hold on, I'm just going to pull up my previous episode because she's related to something with death. And I didn't write it down because the cutscene was moving so fast. Uh, with all of its names and everything. Um, so it goes through a bunch of characters' names. Um, so, <laughs> the the Dung Eater. So, Fear is the Deathbed Companion. It's her name. She says the Deathbed Companion. Where's the Dung Eater? Let's miss... Let's, let's hang out with the Dung Eater. Um, also, I think that dude who didn't give us his name, uh, who was like, there's nothing else to be said, I think he has that same helmet as Sir Gideon Ofnir, the All-Knowing. So that looks to be him, and he's and he's buried in a thing with a bunch of ears. In the imagery, there's Hora Lu, which is chieftain of the Badlands as well. I don't know, there's so many cool names, but I didn't expect those characters to just show up here. Um, oh, I just it just cancels out of it when you click out. You don't you don't even have to choose an option. I don't know if I want her to. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be held by her. Greetings. I am Fee Circum's great champ. Perhaps you're doing so. And you? Do you think it vulgar? Let's do it. Come from? Hold me. My Hold me, Fear. Great champion. All I want to do is be held. Let me lay in your lap. You are very warm. That's so intimate. Um, Balderkin's blessing. What you felt light up inside you was a Balderkin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. I'm so touched starved. Thank you. Uh, Balderkin's blessing. Favor bestowed by a deathbed companion. Protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. Use FP to temporarily boost poise. The favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death, there is only peace. For in death, there can be no sensation. Okay, so it's a temporary item that you can use. And you can boost your poise. Interesting. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held? Regardless? <laughs> I love that she's like, you want to hold me anyway? Even though you've already currently got the blessing? You just want a hug? You just want a hug, please? <laughs> so we just met the deathbed companion. Uh, blacksmith... Wow, alright, let's check out through here. Damn. What's down? Hiya! Oh, we can just straight jump over. Oh, well, I'm down here now. Fuck. <laughs> I'm used to, like, not being able to jump places and they're just being invisible walls. Oh, shit. Invaded by Mad Tongue Ulbrick. Oh, shit. I, I unequipped my stuff. Reverential bow. I was bowing. Oh god. All right, what is what is this? Stop spamming. Whoa. Okay. Look at this scythe wizard. Uh, 
frozen status. Okay, Bloodborne. Jesus. So he wants to freeze me and bleed me. Oh, shit. Okay. I can't cancel that attack. Why am I just randomly... Okay, so this is just the, the Harry Potter dueling chamber. Okay, that's cool. Fucking, I'm just trying to explore, man. I'm just getting, like, wrecked wherever I go. Oh, where am I? Okay. Now I got kicked out. <laughs> I got kicked out. Okay. Um... Okay, how do we try? Oh, it's there. The table of lost grace. Take me back to the round table hold. I was exploring. <laughs> I didn't expect to kick me out. I thought I would still be able to just walk around. Oh, he's gone. The guy who was there before has moved. Oh, yep, Dark Souls. It's closed from the other side, as always. Okay, so if we jump down there, we're going to end up getting into a fight, so, in other words, don't do that. Hello. I wouldn't... Oh. I was like, why wouldn't it let me talk? I pressed talk. What do you want? Gesture. Okay. I copy you. You gonna you gonna talk to me or not? No talk, only gesture. Only what do you want? Okay. Uh, what do you need? Oh. I have little time to spare. There he is. He's here now. What do you mean, a house guest? Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you are but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember. The first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Okay. Once as a true member oh. of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These numby pumby tiners you think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. Damn it. We've spoken. I missed that first line. I'll have to reread that during editing. Something about something, I assure you. Let me just wreck your entire <laughs> fucking establishment by jumping on everything. Nice books. Shame if I jumped on everything. Nice table. Nice books. Alright, so he's chilling in there. You're chilling there. Twin maiden husks. Purchase. Offer a bell bearing. Whoa, hello. Rune arcs, white cipher rings. Well, look at these. Online stuff, okay. Request a hunter from another world to come to your rescue when your world is invaded. One of the lost mystic codes said to have been bestowed by the two fingers. Okay. Memory stone, a black, lightly beguiling stone prized by the sorcerers who produce them, increases memory slots, said to be a fragment of the black moon that once hung above the eternal city. Ah, you can buy you can buy stone sword keys for four thousand runes. A dagger, a longsword, a rapier, a scimitar, a battle axe, a mace, a short spear, a longbow, 
and a finger seal. Alright, so all the basic stuff. A sacred seal bestowed by Finger Maiden, which serves as a catalyst for casting sacred incantations. Incantations must be memorized first at a site of grace, and a sacred seal must be equipped to cast them. A heater shield. Uh, the generic knight armor. Furled Finger's Trick Mirror, a small clouded mirror that reflects an image of a golden figure, makes the bearer take on the appearance of a host of fingers, one of the ritual implements created by the Tarnished to deceive invaders. And a host's Trick Mirror, makes the bearer take on the appearance of a summoned cooperator, one of the ritual implements created by the Tarnished to deceive invaders. So this is like a online, it's like an online um, thing over there. Okay, so we need to deal with the shard bearers, so we can uh, open up new areas of uh, of this place, I guess. Like this, these big doors. Cool. And if I jump down here, will I get invaded again? Hiya! Am I gonna get invaded? Hanging out down here? No. Yes, Mad Tongue Ulrich. Whoa, fucking. Uh, I meant to try and dodge backwards, but I went right into that one, didn't I? Dude, why are you so strong? <laughs> What the fuck? And Frostbite! Oh man. What are you gonna do? Frostbite me again? Oh, you... Trash! God, I love how they're like, they make the fucking NPCs toxic. <laughs> they make the NPC invaders toxic players. He's just like maxed out with a scythe and all these spells. <laughs> Never mind. I can't be bothered with him. Another time, perhaps. When I'm actually a bit stronger. I am but a pathetic tarnished right now. Let's head back to the gate front. Storm Vale is out there somewhere, guys. One of these days we might actually get there. <laughs> this game's like overwhelmingly open <laughs> to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm just confused. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna get on my horse. Uh, hi. Oh, yeah, okay. To be expected. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Look how strong it is. What the fuck? Uh, stop. Stop. Okay, the arrows do not make this easier. Alright, you there. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Can they can he kill enemies for me? Apparently not. Crush these enemies. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, the fucking... <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. Hello. 
Oh. Okay. Sword attacks now. Stop. Ah, fuck it. Thank you. Thank you for dealing with him for me. Gotcha. Defeated. No item left behind? Okay. Jesus. Lump of flesh. That's always good. I'm always a big fan of receiving lumps of flesh. Alright. Well, protecting the pathway up to Stormvale, I suppose. Just like me to charge up the attack only for it to fail right at the end. Oh, wow. Oh, the stance break. Nice. Nice. We got a brass shield. Nice. I can upgrade my shield now to something. Ah, oh, no, I can't. I need 16 strength. <laughs> I need 16 strength. We'll do that at our next site of grace because I actually have some runes and I really should level up more. Because I've wasted so much runes dying pointlessly. Oh, it's windy up here. Storm heal. Oh, and another golden seed. Which reminds me. <laughs> hey, remember how there's that thing where we can get more health? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Stormy, stormy dogs. Okay. Panicked for a second there. Nice. Storm heal. Oh, here's a sight of grace. That's what I just what I was looking for. Because it's fresh in my mind now. Touch grace. Um, rest at sight of grace. Uh, flasks. Add charge to flask. A golden seed. Golden seed. I think we just had two, right? Use two golden seeds. Wait, what? Not enough. Oh, right. Yeah. I didn't think so. That confused me for a second there. We don't have a sacred tier. But I now have six... Six heals. Oh, so... Melina doesn't always come to the... Okay, Melina doesn't always come here to level up. I can just level up whenever I want, like Dark Souls 1. Okay. I feel like... It might be a good idea to get to put points into strength so I can wield a better shield. Like I said, the sword that I have has strength and deck scaling. I might work my way up to it, you know? Okay. Level up a bit. Ooh, hang on, is that someone? Oh, I got a stone sword key. Stormhill Shack. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken, even their heads. Taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite the lark when you think about it. Uh, well, we do have a character called Godric, the grafted. You become a chrysalid. Sitting sideways gesture. Interesting. You're all on your own, are you? And heading You're all on your own, are you? Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Ah, yes. Vari. You've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. 
or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. craven. Nothing but a craven. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? Spirit jellyfish ashes. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure they'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? It was a pleasure to... Oh, tell them I love them. I'm fine again. Okay. I got another spirit. A floating spirit that illuminates its surroundings. Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for a distant home, will bravely spew poison at foes on her summoner's behalf. It seems her name is Aurelia. Oh, wow. You got a try this uh, summoning at one point, hey. It's windy out here. Storm Hill Shack. So we're going up that way, and then I guess it looks like we can go across here. Because isn't, this, the tower's here and the Erd tree is like this, right here I think, right? But then there's this whole area out here to explore. Which is why we have horse. It's windy up here. I hear a noise. I hear a monster sound somewhere. Just pick a direction and run with it. What the fuck is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is this? Ruin fragment. What was that? Uh, whoa! It just blew up. It blew itself up. Okay. Um. Ooh, it's got eyes and it's watching me. Oh, oh. Okay. It's got eyes and it just watches. Oh god, there's another one. What the hell? got attacked by a fucking ram. God damn it. I'm trying to look at these weird things. It takes so long to pull the telescope out. Look at that thing. That's a full eyeball. That is a full on eyeball. What the fuck? What is happening in this game? Eyeball worms. They're literally eyeballs. Eyeballs. You can do it. I, be I believe. I believe in you. It doesn't want to pick up the item. Right, so I'm trying to... Okay, okay. I would just dismount. I'll do it the hard way. Thank you. So strange. Okay, it's a bunch of golden runes, which is nice. I don't think those eyeballs were the ones making that sound that we were hearing, though. There you go, I heard it again. Oh, there's a house down here. I love that little bonus jump that we get. Oh, there's a, a grace thing here. And there's a person here. Wonderful. Honestly, I this, this place is so big... Warmaster Shack. This place is so big and huge. <laughs> like, I'm just going to pick a direction and run with it. We'll see what we can find when we find it, you know. Because if I start at one point and I just 
scour the land, I will never get anywhere. We, what I will do though is I should head back down here to the Dragon Burnt Ruins so we can try again on the Dragon Agil. We'll try that again. We'll see if we can put that one under our belt today. As long as, you know, in an episode if I put a couple of bosses or if I, even if I put something under my belt like that, then that's cool. We'll get some good exploration, some good bosses feel comfortable calling that one a day. Warmaster's Shack. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? My faith holds firm. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through takes me back but that's a quality needed now more than ever any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts all I know is the sword picked up a fair few tricks in my time too now's the time to pass them on to a good and proper tarnished like you oh wow learn skills from night banal nice so here's ash of war stamp upward cut Brace armament, step into a low stance. Strong attack from an upward strike. A kick. Push an enemy back with a high kick. Effective against enemies who are guarding. Or break a foe's stance. Sometimes a simple tool is the most effective. That's cool. Endure. An anchored stance to brace for an incoming attacks. Briefly boosting poise. War cry. Spinning slash. Slash foes as your body spins. No skill. Okay. Replaces any skill present with the following. No skill. Parry. Storm Blade. Lost skill of Storm Veil. Surround armament with shearing storm winds that can be fired forward. Can be fired in rapid succession. It's Dark Souls 3. Quick step. Ooh, skill prized by the crafty and fleet of foot. Perform a quick step maneuver that allows for circling around lock on targets. An impaling thrust. That's cool. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle. To death itself. Look how cool his armor is. Not floating your boat, eh? Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. The person that made this armor was like, So, I heard you like lions. What if we just put that all over the armor? Would you like that? Just literal lion armor. Nothing else. Just, just lions. I couldn't get you a real lion, unfortunately, but I... I bet you his helmet is literally a lion helm as well. What the fuck? <laughs> the wolves come from the sky! <laughs> the wolves come from the sky! Alright, where are we? Oh, hello. What is that noise again? Oh wow, can I... Hmm. It's a bit too high. I wonder if you can get more... I wonder if you can end up getting more jumps with your steed. Is this love being exactly where I should well I mean I was gonna about to say I love where I being whoa 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 what what just happened oh I can't horse here okay I said I love being where I shouldn't but then I was like oh I can be wherever I want recusant Henricus oh god we've been invaded by recusant Henricus with a big hammer hello big hammer 
Gotcha. Well, at least he's, like, much more achievable than a fucking... Oh! Much more achievable than a fucking invader in, um... The round table. Whoa! Flame hammer. Nice. Whoa! It, it leaves fire behind, because of course it does. Oh! How's that? How's that for a jumping attack? Summoning other players. Use a fur calling finger remedy to reveal summon signs of players from other worlds. Nice. A hunter. Oh, a hammer talisman. We got our first talisman. A talisman depicting a hammer and a knight enhances stamina reducing attacks against a blocking opponent. Hammers are highly effective against shield bearing foes, so much so that they are known as knight killers. So it enhances stamina reducing attacks. Yes, give me that. I got my first talisman. I guess that's why our horse disappeared. It disables certain uh, things that you can do when you get invaded. Oh, hello. Competitive multiplayer. Use a duelist failed finger to write a red summon sign. Competitive multiplayer. Small red effigy. Duelist failed finger. Hello. All I wanted was to fight. To fight as a warrior to the last. So why, why, O oh guidance of grace, will this door not open? Because you need to use the competitive multiplayer stuff, dummy. It's a multiplayer arena, I guess. It's not a location that gets marked on the map, but... Elusive wall. Elusive wall! Just gonna look around, see if there's anything in here. Also, if you guys are watching at this point, you know, in time. Please validate me and tell me if you are having a similar experience to me in your playthroughs. Are you getting just as lost as I am? Are you getting just as carried away with going off the beaten path as I am? Am I just crazy for ignoring all of the things? And should I just be at Stormvale Castle right now instead of attacking what look to be penguins? Look! Penguins! What are they, what are they doing here? This isn't an environment for for penguins. For penguins, man, what the hell? Are you guys doing the same as me? <laughs> are we just we just roaming the lands between together? You know? Alright, I can wield the horse now. I can mount him, so I guess it's fine. It's only because of the invasion. So I guess you can predict when an invasion is gonna end up happening or something is gonna happen. Because you'll get forcibly dismounted from your horse. Uh, so I guess this is a PvP room where you do some competitive multiplayer or something. So this is another cliff edge, I think. And, like... Not necessarily the end of the map, but I mean, it doesn't look like we'll be able to actually do go there. <laughs> At least for now, we'll see. Um, At least we can travel to a bunch of these new places. And that's the thing, is like, it makes me that sometimes I look at this stuff, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just travel back and I'll go up the path, but then I'm like, it, maybe I shouldn't be fast traveling, you know, because if I just ride back, but like a different way, there'll be things that I can find. It's sort of like that open world curse when you have the option to fast travel instead of going a different way. Oh, hang on, there's a giant thing over there. Is that, yep, that's what's making the noise. Hello. Oh, it's one of you. Okay, I don't like. I don't like. I've already beaten one of you. I got nothing to prove to you. Let's do it anyway. Ooh, that bleeding though. Nice. 
Ah, oh, look, it's okay. Hang on. I missed the. Ah, oh, I still got the kill with the bleeding, but I missed the opportunity. Okay, there was a glowing spot to do a critical blow, so I thought I might have to dismount my horse to make that one happen. Nice. More of those leaves. Strength knot, crystal tear. Oh wow! Hello. What is that? Strength Knot Crystal Tear. I've gone the long way around for this. Uh, it's a key item. Temporarily boosts strength in mixed physic. A crystal tear forms slowly over the ages where the Erd Tree's bounty falls to the ground. Can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction temporarily boosts one's strength. Okay, so we still need to find this Flask of Wondrous Physic. Which is, uh, in this... thing. In the remains of the Third Church of America, north of the Mistwood. And I'll keep referencing that until eventually we end up north of the Mistwood, and we get a Flask of Wondrous Physic. Imagine if this game didn't have a mount. We'd be screwed with how long exploration would take. Uh, okay. What happened here, guys? <laughs> you all just decided to have a fucking meeting in the open and you all just died here. Wow. What the hell's... What, what happened here, team? What are you guys doing? Oh, there's another one of those. What are you doing hanging out here? Ooh. With your wolves as well? Hello, big one. Slightly larger one. Ah! Getting all the hits. Thank you. Smoldering butterfly. What are you doing there? You look like you could be pushed off the cliff. Oh, that's the entrance to Stormvale. That's that's the th okay. I see. I see. We were just down there, and that's the one that jumps down the bottom. That makes sense. Ooh, what is this? It's like an octopus-looking thing. What the fuck is this? Uh, yep. Uh, it has a beak. Uh, it... What the fuck? It's an octopus thing with a beak. And it doesn't take damage. Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Uh, it is now decimating forests. That's not very good for the environment. I'm gonna get you cancelled. Alright. You're killing forests. Why are you doing that? How do we do damage to this thing? Because this is... <laughs> Maybe I need to hit it in his face. Oh! Alright, I need to hit it somewhere. Oh, there you go. Just hit it in its face. Hey, give me that face. There we go. Oh, nice. In there. Get defeated, beaked octopus thing. So this is why bestiary would be good, because then I know exactly what that would be called. Apparently it's a land octopus and I just got its ovary. Mmm! That's right. Bragging rights. Yeah, I got a land octopus's ovary. <laughs> oh, a land octopus. Puffy, milky, white ovary. Land octopuses eat humans in order to bear young, and theirs is the blood that runs through these ovaries. That's disgusting. According to myth, these butterflies were once the wings of the goddess of rot herself. The goddess of rot. Oh yeah, that lump of flesh. Meat suitable for a rustic feast. 
I'd rather not. Oh god, there's many of them. Tortoise friend! I'm sorry to do it to you. But you give me turtleneck meat. Uh, I want to go over the other side, because I think I can get in there. I saw someone that's like... There's, there's someone here, I saw them. In the thing from a distance. How can I get to them? Let's find out. That dragon is still waiting very patiently for me to come back and kill it. While I get sidetracked on my exploring adventures. It's another one of those eye worm things. Alright, please pick it up. Please pick it up. Thank you. Look at these fucking things. What the hell? They're so strange. <laughs> Just like caterpillars. I caterpillars. I, I don't get it. Look at this lighting. The lighting in this game is insane. This is so beautiful. Uh, that's where we came from, so we're going to go around this side, this time. Look at all these animals! Don't attack me, or you will get killed. Ah! Ah! Stop that. Give me your beast bones, and your beast livers. Give me your stuff. Ah! <laughs> What is all this stuff? Look at this! Oh! Hi! Whoa! What the fuck is this thing? Oh, we're doing damage to it. We're good. I think we're fine. Whoa! It's was it already damaged? I think it was already damaged. Because there's no way we did that much damage to it already. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Attack its legs! It's weak! Ah. Oh. Ooh! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There it is, there it is. Dismount! Never mind. I missed my opportunity to stab it in the gut again. I tried. What was that? Giant... Giant thing? Giant possessed rock thing? Just a giant possessed rock thing. You know how it is, just casually. You'll see, you'll see those pop up, I guess. Rock, rock beast. Hit him in the legs. Alright, give me my horse back. Because I'm heading over the. Oh! Look at. It's doing something. There's more of them. They're doing something. What are they doing? Why are they like this? They're so confusing. What are you doing? Get cut down. Don't do that. I don't understand it. Ooh, hang on. Are you guys responsible for the glowy thing? Is that what this is? You're concentrating on a glowy thing. Well, I'm about to put a stop to that. What does that mean? Stormhill Everjail. The Everjail, huh? Die, weird thing! Alright, did that change anything on this thing? Let's have a look. Uh, it's still glowing. I guess now we just take a risk at this point. Examine. Hiya! Enter Everjail. Alright. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I still want to see if I can get... Yes, I can. Perfect. See, I thought there'd be an entrance. Oh, that's a flask replacement. I don't need a flask replacement. I'm doing just fine. There's another wolf. 
Oh, hello. Oh. Useless gesture. Don't go up against a samurai in battle, you'll lose. There you go. Oh, I thought it could have been like an important person. Really just someone just with a torch. Really just someone with a torch. Oh! Oh! It was like one of those things where I was like... I lost all critical thinking and I was like, I'll just attack it. And then I realized far too late that it was attacking faster than me and that I was going to lose and die. <laughs> no! All right, where the, shit, where did we just die? There. Quick. Head back to where we died. Um, here, let me put a beacon. Oh, I can just travel. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, no, that's on the bottom. It's probably not a good idea to do that. Let's place a beacon there, and then I can see it. Very clearly on my map. There's like a beacon in the sky. Well, actually, turns out I can't really. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm like, oh, it's just some guy. Look at me always underestimating my, my enemies. And paying the price for it dearly. All of, all of the time. that giant thing, does it respawn? No. It's dead forever. Okay. Alright, we should definitely check out this Ever Jail. It's so easy to get, like... Oh, there's a Marika thing here. Why didn't it let us respawn back at that? I guess I, you just have to, like, literally physically walk over it sometimes. Alright, there we go. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, I almost just fell down by being an idiot. Yes. Okay. Let me get these runes. Alright, this time I won't fuck this up. It's almost that easy. Ooh, Godric Soldier Gauntlets. New gauntlets unlocked. Not bad. Gauntlets won by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted. Rust won and stained through unending conflict. Please don't be a trap. <laughs> Ooh, Arrows Reach Talisman. Increases bow effective range. That's actually quite useful for us, that one. A talisman depicting three arrows, carried by Hunter of Beasts. The effective range of bows. That's nice for me. I am a I am a bow user sometimes, when, when the mood strikes. I can make a shitload of bone arrows at this point, hey. Um, alright. Ever jail? Considering it's here. Storm Hill Ever Jail. Maybe I don't need to take out these things. Enter Everjail. What the fuck is this? Am I gonna get trapped? Whoa, 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 wait. What? Whoa. Crucible Knight? Okay. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. Okay. Look at that thing. Uh, please don't tell me that my runes... Please don't tell me that my runes are, like, trapped in purgatory. The Crucible Knight. 
Oh my god, my runes are right here. Thank fuck. Okay. Hey! Haha! <laughs> Everjail, huh? Crucible Knight. That's, that's good. I'm gonna put that on my... Oh, it's here anyway. I'm gonna put a marker on there. Skull marker right next to it. There you go. Bad. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there if you know what's good for you. You will die. Uh, I'm gonna head to... The first step again because I'm gonna level up with what I have and then we're gonna take on this dragon the crucible knight will just be another enemy that we'll have to revisit at another point in time <laughs> okay let's level up All right, I can put my strength up to 16 so I can wield a better shield but if we're going up against a dragon probably not even useful to do that right now so I'll put one point in get some more Stamina perhaps? Maybe some more health. And then one more level up. Um, in endurance. We're focusing on a particular set of skills, really. Okay. Now, with this dragon... We're not going to need a shield. And we're going to try and be on horseback as much as possible. So we'll switch between these two. Um, I can do item crafting for bows whenever I want. So we can make some bone arrows. Adds distance to the arrow's flight. Okay, let's make maximum amount of those. I don't think the... Fire arrow is going to be super effective against a dragon. So we will have bone arrows and normal arrows. We've got 60 of those. And they just they just do 10 damage left than normal arrows. So that's okay. And that'll be useful. I can see the dragon from here. Jesus. That'll be useful from a distance. Look at this shadow loading in on the tree. <laughs> that was weird. Right, obviously we want to go for the head. I actually really quite like this dragon fight, huh? Oh shit! No! Why would you curse me like that? I just complimented you. I actually quite like the- <laughs> Oh, I don't even know where the stake is, but let's try it. Let's see where the stake is. Where is the stake? Oh, that's- that's good. Um, far out. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, I actually genuinely quite enjoy this. I think like the ability of like having a horse to also participate in this fight on is so cool. Such a good arena to fight in, too. Oh, that's that's me missing all of my ch chances to get hits in. I hope we can get the chance to break the stance of this dragon.
I want to, like, shove my sword in its eyeball. Scenery that we fight this fucking dragon in. No, jump. Okay, we survived. Good shit. Dragon, what are you doing up there? What are you doing up there, dragon? Dragon, get down from there. What are you doing up there? Oh, dude, this bow talisman is working out quite well as well. Ah, uh, your head is underground. <laughs> what is the dragon doing? Get your head out from the ground. Okay, dragon. Missing all my hits once again. <laughs> oh! Dude, I'm actually having so much fun in a dragon fight. It's a Christmas miracle! I wish I could, like, fight a dragon all the time with a horse. Holy crap. Someone add a horse mod into Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, this is sick. This is like the best dragon fight ever, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? This is just so fucking cinematic and cool, man. Yes! We defeated a dragon! A great enemy felled! A great enemy. Dragonheart. A new draconic power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. I don't even know what that is yet. Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Holy shit. We got a dragon heart. Is that a crafting material? Key item, maybe? Going all the, the wrong way about this. Shit. Key items. Yes, dragon heart. Gain power of the dragon at the dragon communion altar. Look at that. Riddled with gravel stone, this grotesque organ continues to beat vi uh, vicaciously. An offering used in the Dragon Communion, consume a dragon's heart at the altar to make its power yours. While a terrible and savage looking thing, this heart has a peculiar beauty to it. I got a fucking dragon heart. And that, my lovely, my lovely friends, my fellow tarnished, that will be the end of this episode of Elden Ring. With the defeat of the dragon, Agil. That was so cool. <laughs> In the dragon burnt ruins. We got ourselves a dragon heart. I can put a couple of levels in now. And we can figure out, I guess, at some point, what uh, what we're actually meant to get out of... Um, what we're actually meant to get out of that dragon communion deal. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. It's it's a it's so different than our other FromSoft experiences. So the structure of episodes, how we do things, is gonna be a little bit different. I'm definitely being a little more like introspective and observant, and just kind of like looking at stuff and just like not babbling so much. You know what I mean? Like it's I'm just taking it in, as I'm sure you guys all are as well. This game is massive, and we've only just started. We we haven't even begun to get into it. But there's still been just so much for us to experience. And it's just been an absolute treat. This just feels so fun. So many characters to meet in the world. So many bosses. So many enemies. Uh, items and lore and just things to take in. That's just so beautiful. And I can't wait to keep going. So thank you so much for watching this second episode of the Elden Ring playthrough. And I'll see you next time.